Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from the cosmos. Hey, how are you today? Um, I'm actually from Chicago, Illinois, which is, uh, uh, no, that's, that's Europe, that's Italy, that's Sweden and Europe. Anyway, I'm from Chicago. I'm, I'm from one of those bright areas here, here on the globe. Some of you are from some of the places out in the starry areas. So today, what I want to talk to you about is there's a lot going on. It's still about the divine masculine is moving forward. The divine masculine is moving forward. And with that, there's a lot of changes. There's going to be a lot of weirdnesses. We already kicked in with a Saturn retrograde. People are feeling it in the energies, and I do have something to talk to you about. So I want to let you know that I have something here to just show you. So. I have a webinar to help you through. Now, for those of you that may not know, I teach about the light body. I teach you how to open your channels. I teach you how to get things moving. And this is important because there are two of you. There's two of you, and two of you will actually be feeling things. And you're going to be at points where you're helping each other out. So I prepared this little presentation to talk because yes, things are on the move. We're not uh, going to have people who are grieving and numbing. People are gonna be sh needing to shift through that, through confrontational energy, and breaking free of things. So a lot of people are having to break free of things and sometimes things are breaking free of you. But sometimes you don't know what to do after that happens. And as many of you do know, you have so many of the feminine ready, but how about the masculine? Here's a little hint. The masculine is not only inside, it's inside both of you. Masculine is also hetero, gay, lesbian, and trans. So my class is a four-part class. How do we meet for the class? We meet via Zoom. It's online. I can record it. So if you have to leave or if you can't attend for one of the days, you'll still receive the court recording. How I present is I have a slide presentation. There's a live question and answer segment where I open up the floor and we end with me walking you through connecting with your twin for a lucid merge of your etheric body during the end. And yes, you do commune with your own twin flame. And usually you will have experiences after as you receive light codes because you will be open and you will be in the mode of receiving. Part two, I'm doing the 21st or the 23rd. Part three is the 27th or the 29th. Part four is the third or the fifth of May. And you join online, very simply, like this person here in the picture. He's joined up. Why don't you join? You are twined with each other within you. You are twined and things are going to get deeper for you. From deep inside your body, the human part of you is the spiritual DNA. You've had activation, yet the awakening and the growth continues because you have five subtle bodies. You're going to feel things. Oops. You're going to feel things because you will feel different. You will feel yourself as not the same as where you were before. Some of you describe it this way. 
that I had an experience that I can't even explain. I had an experience like no other experience I've ever had. And yes, you're not who you were before. Everything around you is willing to be harmonious to you. Everything in the universe wants to support you. It's you who is finding the harmony within you with your twin flames. So the topics I'll be talking about are moving out of the old paradigm, the F and the F, which I do consider to be some of the conflict, and not all of it, but it has a lot to do with fighting and fornication versus the real love and real love making. There is a distinction to be made between both. The distance that separates you and why, and T and T. Tolerance and temperance. And what does it mean for you as a twin flame? It's going to mean something different during this retrograde energy. And I talk about what's new with you. I talk about sex, addictions, and your body. Knowing what's happening will gradually come in time. But getting yourself opened gradually and integrating every part of each other will allow and enable you both to live together. You are fitting yourselves together, and integration is but a part of the process. Your subtle bodies are how you access the deepest primal parts of you, which is the passion that you are seeking, a primal deep intimacy and knowing that is poignant and passionate. And some of you are missing that. You're saying, where is the passion? Where is it in all this stuff? Where is it? What is it taking to get to where, where we really want to be? You will have the passion in this realm and in the next. And I mean, while you are alive. A focus upon your twin flame body is what will be increasingly important for both of you. It's new. Thank you for being on this journey back home to home, to each other, and true love. There is much more available on my website, including my classes, Twin Flame one-on-one -on -one sessions, energy body work, which is live, and I do energy work over the internet. And I do have live classes in Chicago. St. Louis is coming up. I will be in Mexico, Seattle, and California. So I hope to see you there. The links are down below. There's a lot to talk about because this energy is going to be weird. Now, something that others may not, may or may not know about, there are deadlines. There are deadlines for things to happen by. That's, that's going to be very apparent this year. There's, there are things that are expected to happen by certain points and those are the deadlines that are up here so that things can happen down here. There's been a lot that has happened, not only behind the scenes, but above the scenes, so that couples can be successful with each other. Just because you think you may have fumbled through some things or you may not feel it, you know, completely adequate for it, come and join. Come and find out. Come and see exactly ways that are new for you that make you successful. And I'm seeing a lot of people around me that are struggling. These are people in my own life, and I know them to be going through ascension symptoms. And a lot of people white knuckle through it. I also have quite a bit of information about that, what to do, supplementation, what movements will help you, what to do about the energies coming up, and a lot of this has to do with getting rid of the past. But for those people that want to linger in the past, it's going to show up in very strange ways. It's going to make it challenging for your physical human body. The part of you that is connected to your twin doesn't want to stay in the old paradigm. And you're going to keep getting pushes. So at some point, this is going to be full steam ahead for some people. So. I hope to see you there. Please look down below in the description. Um, just trying something a little bit different here. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. 
If you would like some one-on-one -on -one session or body work, or you have a question on something, because I do feel things through the internet, it's not my preferred method. I actually prefer to meet with people, and that's either in a group or it's one-on-one. -on -one. That is where I do my best work. But if you have a question and do feel things, and you can email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. I will be having much more come out. There are some things that I'm working on um, that I'll be presenting also. And some of it has to do with, if you have a family, if you have children, children are going to be going through their ascension stuff. They have been for a while, but you're going to see more children around you that are going through things. You may be seeing your parents go through things. I've been seeing people on my end going through things. I've been seeing things show up. And some of it is, uh, actually some of it is a little bit surprising how it is. Some of it has uh, led to trips to the doctor. Now that's something I wanna let you know about. One way or another, you're, there are things that are happening that are making people have to do something. And you're either going somewhere for something, you're joining something, you are um, going to the doctor. I've had people go to the hospital. I don't wish it upon people. But when it's absolutely necessary, it's good to have that kind of care if it's needed. There are things that are expected to happen by certain times. So while you may feel that you're out of the old timeline, there are still things that are going to happen this year. And I know what those are. I know when the doors are closing, um, there's going to be a big door that closes for the solstice in June, big door. And there's going to be things that happen. Now, I just finished a 30-day uh, program with some people. I think they found it helpful. I do have quite a bit of information on how you get through things. How do you skim over things? How do you get things going when there's two of you? Because that's the thing that somebody uh, sometimes forgets. Hey, what about my other, what about my other half? Or how are they affecting me? How am I affecting them? You have to start taking that into consideration this year. You have to start getting productive with your own proactive parts of you, which are your subtle bodies. That is what I know. That is what I teach. You have more than seven chakras. Just together, you have more than seven. There are ways that um, you access things that only you can do. And yet, I know those things of how do you do it. And that's what I cover in the classes. So thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you there. And please have a wonderful weekend. If you have any questions, again, just reach out to me. Thanks so much. And